Hi everyone, my name is Tatenda from CG Turf. Today we're going to be creating some chain links. So as you can see, I've already um, modeled the chain itself. I've made like two chain links. Uh, they're actually low poly, but I've just pressed three to smooth them out. They're just really basic models. You can, I actually used a torus, uh, this shape right here to create the links. And that's really all you need. And I've created this curve using um, create curve tools, EP curves. If you press this, I think I've showed you like another tutorial so how you can actually create your own curves. So that's straightforward. So now what we need to do is we need to select these geometry and I'm actually going to combine them. So under the modeling set, we go to mesh and combine. After that, we want to go to the animation set and go to M-A-S-H, mesh, mesh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And then you create mesh network. And then we're just gonna click this and hit three. And just from, you can see, uh, like from what you can actually see, there are a lot of um, situations you can actually use um, this plugin. It will work for a lot of things. But for this case, we're just gonna use it to create the, the chain links. <coughs> um, okay, that's looking good. So if we go to mesh one distribute, we can actually change the number of links we want. So in this case, maybe I'll just stick to 10. But for example, if I wanted, let's say like maybe 30, they will actually become compressed, but then you just need to move the distance to just adjust the distance, maybe 50. Uh, no, maybe 70, yeah. So it's just gonna be a longer chain. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna use 10. And this was 20, like this. And you can also change the things like the rotation of the actual chain. Um, and as you can see there, you can actually see how how this can be applied to a lot of things. So yeah, maybe in my case, I'll just rotate it in the X axis. So now the next thing, I'm just gonna select the chain and the curve. And then under the modeling menu set, I go to deform curve warp. So now it's actually following the curve that I created. And on the offset, you can actually animate it like that. So you can actually, if you right click on offset, you can actually, for example, if I go to frame one, I can actually set a key and go to frame 30 and move it. And then I set another key and that actually becomes an animation like that. So yes, this was a quick tutorial. I had made the models already, so, because I usually want to make things from scratch, but I think for this tutorial, there wasn't really a need to do that. So I hope this will be helpful for you. Please do subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications for more tutorials that I would have uploaded. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.